Hello and welcome to English for Experience. I'm ET Tutor. This is a quick revision video for GCSE English Language Edexcel students. This time we're looking at Paper 2, Section A, Question 5. So we're getting there. Now some people struggle with this one, so we really want to unpick the question and work out which part of your answer you get the mark for. So this time around, we get a smaller chunk to look at. You've got the whole text here and in the description box. But in the exam, you get a little bit to focus on. And here we've got from lines 2 to 4. Let's have a read. In this example, from lines 2 to 4, how does the writer use language to show that Chichester was afraid? So we're looking at how something is achieved through language to show a particular thing, so this time his fear. Have a read, pause if you need to, and try and jot down some ideas. Okay, if it was me doing it, I'd go for the simile. Can you see that? So, you know, a simile where we compare two different things using like or as. So yes, it's here. The white breakers showed in the blackness like monstrous beasts charging down on the yacht. Now, you don't get the mark for knowing that this is a simile and popping it down. The mark comes later when you say how the writer achieves whatever it is you're looking at. So we'll pop that in. The writer uses a simile. Pop it in. If you're short of time, think about how you write it up. So, rather than writing from um, the white breakers all the way down to the end, you could just condense it and say uh, the, quote, breakers, dot, 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 like monstrous beasts. And then we're getting the two things that are being compared and the examiner knows that that dot, dot, dot means that you're looking at that whole section. I hope that makes sense. So get that in. And then how? Well, it's very violent, disturbing imagery. So what does it do when we are given this kind of imagery? It appeals to our senses. So this time it's appealing to the sense of sight, but it's also an attempt to gain empathy which stresses again how scared he is we can all relate to being out in the dark so by using this simile it really stresses what was going through Chichester's mind and how extreme he felt the situation was okay so try to write that up as succinctly as you can or have a go at your own example. There's quite a few things in here. Think about colour. That's something you might comment on. Think about the adjectives. Think about symbolism, so that colour symbolism. Think about the use of the personal pronoun and how all of these things result in us knowing that he was scared. Yeah? All right then, best of luck with that one. Any comments, feedback, use the comment section below. As always, best of luck.